Hey there, welcome back, Manish here, and as you can see, yes, we have a lot of updates. So, I'm going through the patch notes, and there has been two hot fixes. I'm including everything, so this is the state currently game is on, all right? So, right away, jumping into game, in the back end, there's, I launched the new, remember, when we have patches and updates and fixes, most well, a lot of problems are not solved if you have old saves. So I am trying to trigger some other errors. So far, on the original game, most of the fixes has been done and updates and everything. So as you can see, we have an update from developer right away. We have original patch notes and two fixes. They came out six and then another six hours later. So yeah, I'm taking down my other video where I that I posted before this latest hotfix was announced, right? There was a lot of problems. So now it kind of seems everything is fine-ish. So what they fixed, well, basically those are two latest hotfixes uh, released to address critical issues. So there was stones missing, money not coming in, um, cows going lost, uh, not saving the game currently. Stones are there. Uh, wolf uh, dens are not respawning money yeah I can't tell but well it's the number is there so should be fine as I said still need to test and see but as long as game can be saved it's already a major improvement so uh, as you see they fix the barns issue seems that was the problem for uh, save games so that's cool that's the latest that's the last yeah, uh, late on the evening it was released before that they <laughs> they tried to fix uh, as, as, as a hotfix and other critical issues they introduced launching the new update the update number one that's down in the patch notes let me get to that fixed an issue with the rocks yes there was such thing and fishing areas going vanish that's also was the thing oh come on why in a back and there I have sorry need to re-establish launch the game all right where were we oh yes so uh, town center not playing correctly the, the user interface and some issue saves would not load that should be all solved all right and the major issues I'm basically now it's the patch notes, right? It should know other bugs introduced. I check the Steam, I see no people uh, complaining, only the ones that have not updated the game. Be aware, a patch and one hotfix, another hotfix, that's when you, if you play the game while they patch the game, yeah, on a running game, you can't put updates on. So be aware of that. That's what seems to be a problem when, when people are complaining about they haven't checked that actually Steam has to upload the new updated game files, all right? So major updates, what they've done. Introduced new map, Idyllic Valley. It's super easy, a lot of resources, no fertile lands, everything for those who want to enjoy, not to stress out about uh, surviving. Uh, new repair utility has been released that's in game uh, in, now in game directory you can reset um, if you tuned too much crank too much video settings and the game crashes so you have ability to reset them that's for gaming purposes that's basically troubleshooting purposes then mega rocks are introduced introduced huge piles of rock 1200 I think there was super huge so there's no problems with, with lack of stones that is one of the things that you can't have in the, your current save game you have to have new maps generated only then the changes will be appearing there and notification system about traveling merchant now if you have a travel server I don't have in this map yet but there is a new pop-up that basically highlights that well trader is there go check it out all right that's a major issues uh, major new features right that's how they call it now in art section we have two two little updates uh, new mesh blocker is cleaned so basically what it gives uh, prevents building placement on top of other buildings so 
yeah, you know, province villagers uh, going through them. Cool, cool. And increase draw distance for grass decoration objects. Objects. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now going to tech. In tech, we have new settlement names are generated properly. That's when you generate a new map. That's so there's no invalid symbols. Cool. Uh, they remove some legacy grass rendering. So basically, CPU and RAM utilization. Game shouldn't be. Uh, Torturing your CPU and RAM, that's cool. We sync is now by default disabled. Small thing, but nice to have, so you don't have to manually disable it, always disable it. Preference for gamers. Uh, then removed debug debugging window for crop rot. I have no clue what it is, haven't seen that, but cool. Uh, disable option to select resolutions lower than uh, seven, 720p. That's cool, they are not supported. Trading post and now received a pass uh, and a new scale resolution. That means previously if you had scaled the user interface, it went out in that side actually, outside of the window. Now it's not happening anymore. So that's cool. I enjoy it quite a lot. <laughs> uh, then uh, memory leak has been resolved. Previously, if you restarted the map, basically the previous the RAM just piled up now it's not anymore if you re restart the map or um, generate new one it's cleared properly uh, then also some windows were not respecting uh, tooltip tooltip sizes were not respecting if you tuned your uh, user interface scale now that's solved uh, that's very cool and in-game fix an issue with in-game reset to default video setting options uh, not using that but yeah Apparently that was the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need graveyards. Just stop asking, all right? I'm fine. So what else we have? Um, fix an issue where foraging resources would spawn in a path where it's not accessible. For example, in the water. Yes, that was the case. Not anymore. And again, not working backwards, all right? So you need to generate new maps. If you have that in your current save, that will stay there. Uh, issue with missing tooltip for fruit. Cool. Uh, issue with carcass tooltip not displaying as intended. That's also fixed. Issues, minor is issues, you know. Uh, mixed issue. Fixed issue, we're generating free stone and clearing a road. Shouldn't be there. Cool. Um, fixed another issue that caused saves to become unloadable. Yes, we run into that issue. That's why we had, had that hotfixes. Fix an issue where I would AI would ignore shorelines when seeing drinking water. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. An issue where decoration trees sometimes would not load. And desirability overlap appears when placing roads. And as well, issue with building maintenance known as structural integrity. This is something I'm trying currently in the back end uh, background uh, to check because. I have the save where I generated map in hotfix one. So basically 7.5.0b. And there I have this weird thing where I see um, this, this building uh, structural integrity going 170%. And I have also that save, maybe at the end I will load and show you where barn requires more planks to repair than it actually required to build. It required 100 planks and currently I have the save where 170 planks are required for... So there is something messed up. I don't know if that's because I have this game generated in between the patches. So that's why I'm running a totally new fresh map to see if all of the problems are gone. Yes, yes, I know I can't. I can't. <laughs> all the time refresh the game, test everything and then come back, there will be already a new patch. That's how I ended up deleting my previous video because, well, that's outdated now. Sorry, a little bit um, distraction, but I needed to make a point here. So barns, there is a lot of issue. Uh, barns, they have separate section, yes, cool. Fixed an issue with fodder uh, hood. I don't know what they mean because I have seen only the broken one where actually the text shows, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. 
otherwise I don't know what exa exactly this point is about uh, and also setting a grazing area so far I had no problems with that but there was problems with herd population controls uh, now updated barn goes beyond 12 and that was the issue it always showed wrong numbers from 13 even if you had more it couldn't handle bigger numbers issue with cow birth rates currently i've seen i've said to the max then four cows are born per year which is quite a huge number if you have the big herd and second level barn and there were also issues where they were not able to get through the gates absolutely worst thing ever yes because you want to make um fence around them so uh, the bears are not attacking them and yeah previously they couldn't get through the uh, gates and what else uh, cows becoming abandoned if the barn is relocated destroyed or upgraded yes there was issues if you touch anything in the barn yeah that screwed up should be fine now and as well now possible for a herd to become overpopulated resulting in penalties to herd health previously it was always also possible whenever you went beyond 12 it showed uh this overpopulation marker and decreased the quality so i don't know what's this point but yeah uh, it's there next up we have crop fields for crop fields they have update and they are breaking the game just pointing it out there is one absolutely thing that is not a bug it's a feature which actually makes the fields okay we'll go get to the point fix an issue where the farmers would uh, prioritize apiaries over building maintaining things cool 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 um priority thing cool then there was an issue with assigning farmers to crop fields solved issue with farmers may become unavailable to access crop fields if there was putting something in stockpiling um, several harvests so yeah there's a if you have noticed on the corner of your field there are place where they put the harvest so that wasn't accessible for some period of time whatever the bug uh, what else we have we have an issue where the farmers are assigned to field maintenance and if adding farmers in fact would cause the maintenance to get skipped minor things but solved cool 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 have noticed that you need really need to pay attention what's going on if you're not um, monitoring them on that basis you would not see the next one is the same fixed an issue where the game was when was loaded the field maintenance was in progress the maintenance would be halted so there's a thing if the time passes and you have noticed i don't know i have noticed maybe i'm just have noticed uh, then this is where they actually break the game absolutely that also i'm trying to test in this field that i need to build fixed an issue where clover could be exploited for mad fertility gains no they were not mad basically if you look at the clover they always bring you plus five and plus minus five fertility every so it can give you zero fertility increase or it can give you up to 10. so how it was once you build a new field normally you would remove the weed and and, and rocks and try to get fertility as high as possible that means um, placing clover two times a year for several years so you can gain up the fertility basically now you can't i trusted they tried the fertility they basically the clovers currently are absolutely useless i run a field for about two or three years in a row all the time and increased by one percent of fertility which means yeah it's, it's basically zero i don't know why fuck they did that because remember growing high fertility high yield crops reduces the fertility and you can uh, uh, put a compost on it only once a year so it's not sustainable you always will have a degrading fertility right which is it's stupid it's stupid and it's not a bug it's feature it's stupid feature okay rant over moving on uh they fixed an issue where expanded fields were not updated the 
infected fertility area. Yeah, you can expand the fields, then obviously the fertility needs to be recalculated, now it's done. And it fixed an issue where expanded fields had the, had the effect fertility area offset from where it should be. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This, this is not cool. I repeat, this is app opposite of cool. All right, then they have another section about the game. For the game, they cleaned our localization issues and changed based on community feedback. Cool, uh, frequency of traveling merchants arriving per year. I haven't seen that particular. There are still in a, a spring, early to mid spring, when all the traders arrive later or sooner or later, but they approach the same time with the same frequency. I don't know what the hell the guys are talking about. This hasn't seen any changes all right then they say increased frequency of cattle and heavy tools showing up in traveling merchants yes cows are now way more often so you don't have to hunt them the starting of the game when you actually need to have those cattle they appear to be more frequent heavy tools i don't see any reason why they should be more frequent but okay fine builders now have handcraft that significantly improve carrying capacity so basically that means they can carry up to 10 items without or with or without basket which is cool but there is a but it seems that these hand char carts are also the same hand cards that are used by two people working in trading center and they now have this upgrade impacting them previously for the trading center they could arrive with 400 uh, logs drop it off for traders perfect now that i have seen how they work they bring only by 10 10 pieces which means those if builders and us builders have this as a improvement this handcart now seems to be absolutely downgrade for trading center because if you have a, a many resources and you put the 500 maximum to bring them all in, those two people basically working non-stop will not be able to provide and deliver all of them in time. I don't know, I don't know what they, it's, it's not sustainable, it's, no, no way. Anyways, we'll need to check if maybe that's a bug for these traders with the second health fix. All right, villagers will know always consider temporary shelters when seeking shelter so if you place them far away from the city that should they should work now more consistently also they increased trading center uh, upgrades for tier 3 and tier 4 now you require 150 inhabitants population or th and 300 respectively so yeah they raise the stakes now you can't move so fast through the tier 3 and tier 4 unfortunately but okay that's cool reduce the spawn rate for wolf dance during the map generation previously it was absolutely broken in the most easy game when you made a new map there was a lot of wolves and also in this map i had a lot of wolves so far it seems it's fine and also there was a problem that those wolf dance were were spawning so yeah that seems to be fixed adjusted volumes for some buildings when they select yeah that's when was, that was annoying fixed an issue with animal generation of small medium maps so basically deers deer spawns are now more frequent should be there thank you for that yeah i have only two or three deers that was absolutely insane and also fixed an issue where hunters would spend excessive time dropping small amount of meat uh when the cabin was upgraded cool 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 last three points uh sections we have um this is about buildings for buildings they have apiaries now require at least one field uh to be built so the thing is pre uh, it's prerequisite it doesn't require field to be near that's not what it says it basically you need to have field first then you can start making uh the, the honey and wax okay uh charcoal kiln now that's we have four workers there previously it was two i think and uh, they work slower so the same amount is produced but you have ability to adjust more like not 
just dropping one and, and then it starts burning down all your logs, okay? Which also means you have two more workers to actually put in the building before it generates exactly the same amount of, of charcoal. Okay. Copper building now requires tier 3. Uh, currently, as far as I have played, absolutely useless building. I know they are working. I don't know, maybe the balance issue or whatnot, but I care little to know for that. Healer's house and hospital now stock soap, which is cool. Uh, reduced monthly upkeep. Uh, healers now, yeah, previously I think it was 30, now it's 20 gold, uh, 20 gold per month. Fixed initial where healer's house upgrade did not correctly require tier 3 in town center. Haven't seen that, always had tier 3 before I upgrade. Cool. Trading post no longer burns down by Carlos villagers. I think there was an issue where the, the fire was not put out. Fixed an issue where fieldstone wall was upgradable to palisade wall. So that's from uh, stone wall going to the wood wall. I see, I see. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And uh, then also for resources, that's another session we have. This There is a lot of upgrades, but you need to generate new map for them. Adjust some building log and plan costs for buildings. That was not the issue. The issue is that logs are too little in the woods. So basically you need to cut down too many trees, but okay, fine, small things towards that. That works already there uh, in your current save, but the next one significantly increase the size of mineral deposits, clay, coal, gold, iron, and sand. Yes, those deposits are huge. Currently in the back end, background you see 9,000 sand, so basically and yeah, 7,000 gold. Huge amount of the uh, deposits, but as I said, in your current save, there is no effect. You need to generate new map, then it will be there. Uh, mineral deposits called gold and iron now appear in single node and correctly display the total amount that it contains. It's also cool, not retroactive. Adjustments to tree resources, including increased tree grow, regrowth and maturity speed. So they spawn faster and they grow faster, which currently I have tested. Ah, one note, decoration trees do not spread new trees. So I have tested this again in between one hotfix and another one, but seem to work fine. Trees grow really fast. And if you place working camps with one worker only, and cut down only grown trees, it seems like you have for, uh, all the time basically unlimited resource of uh, woods because it cut down so slowly that one worker that new trees will grow in the time and basically you don't have to micromanage, which is absolutely one of the greatest upgrades. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this. All right. Added a mega rock that was also in the top. Basically, we are repeating ourselves, where 1,200 stone is there. Uh, also, not retroactive, you have to have those big uh, blocks, monoliths, stone monoliths, you have to generate new map. And yes, there was an issue, one of my points I was going to make a video about, not anymore. Luxury goods do not spoil anymore now. They mentioned no more dropped pottery, but actually I have noticed that furniture is spoiling which was like, oh my God, it spends so much planks and then it spoils? Ha, okay, it's fixed now. And last but not least, there is a combat three updates, which actually are pretty big, I think, I don't know, but this one, the first one, I think it breaks something. Raiders are no less likely to target brickyards, but what they do instead, they attack casual houses. They basically come in, they are not going for the loot as much, they just, are there to demolish your buildings, which I don't appreciate this change, okay? <laughs> and reduce damage for center for certain raiders, okay? We don't know which ones, by how much, no information there. And improve damage bonuses of weapons of soldiers, right? This is the patch note we currently have with two hotfixes. It should be working as intended. Oh, sorry. Yeah, just a reminder about my ugly, um, my ugly uh, thumbnail. And so far, I don't know. Still haven't built that. This is the game. 
All right, I will just save this file and load and ah, you are not interested in that. But if you are, stay with me. I will load back this game that was in between hotfix B and hotfix C, all right? I'll show you this integrity, structure integrity issue, the barn, we'll check that and I'll show you how the tree seems to work totally fine. So for current state of the game, for trees, thank you, but reducing and not giving any fertility, recharge and upgrade uh, possibilities for crop fields and now raiders attacking casual buildings, those are two actually really big downgrades. I don't know why they do that, what's the intention behind that, we'll have to check. I don't know if they roll back or, or adjust something for that, but so far I'm not a big fan of those two things they did, all right? So, can your game please load? I don't want to spend extra time. And this is my barn. So, you see, structural integrity and wood planks, some of them are, are already provided, but 162 wood planks I will just quickly remind you, if we open up and check food barn, normally it requires 100 planks, so why on earth you would need more planks to repair than build new one? I, I can just build new one, you know, it's cheaper now. So, but my assumption is this bug is because I I was playing this in between hotfixes. The hotfix, if it's not uh, retroactive, it's there. And the other thing, what I can show you is, you see how it works? This work camp cuts down trees in the middle, but there are a lot more trees to cut. And I have already new saplings popping up. So basically they will grow up and, and it, will, it can work all the time. Of course, if you place more workers in the such place, they will cut down faster. I think that that would uh, the, remove that balance. So my advice, have more war camps as I do here. And each individual individually makes less logs, but in total, you don't have to micromanage. They will work on separate areas, cover bigger areas, trees regrow, everything fine. All right, that was the patch notes and, and additional things. Yeah, I built all my storage is up here, but when raiders come, they just come and demolish half of my village down here. Mm. Not a big fan, but it is what it is. I didn't receive error on save game, but I don't think it's saved as well. Did it? Did it? Okay. Oh, that's my... Yeah, no auto save that. Anyways, this is the current state. We'll have to see uh, for the next updates. Hopefully they're released sometime soon. It takes them a while. Eh. We'll meet in those videos then. We'll keep an eye for the farthest frontier so far. Cheers.